in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit the grace of our lord jesus christ and the love of god and the communion of the holy spirit be with you all good no good morning my dear sisters and brothers today we celebrate the feast of saint bernadet whom blessed virgin mary appeared in lourdes let us intercede blessings of this great saint and pray for our intentions asking pardon for all our shortcomings let us start i confess almighty god and to you my brothers and sisters that i have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words in what i have done and in what i have failed to do through my fault through my fault through my most grievous fault therefore i ask blessed mary ever virgin all the angels and saints and to you my brothers and sisters to pray for me to the lord our god may almighty god have mercy on us forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life lord have mercy christ have mercy lord have mercy let us pray o god hope and the light of the sincere we humbly entreat you to dispose our hearts to offer you a worthy prayer and ever to extol you by dutiful proclamation of your praise through our lord jesus christ your son who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the holy spirit one god forever and ever A reading from the Acts of the Apostle. A Pharisee in the Sanhedrin named Gal Gamaliel, a teacher of the law, respected by all the people, stood up, ordered for a short time, and said to the Sanhedrin, Fellow children of Israel, be careful what you are about to do to these men. Some time ago, Theodos appeared, claiming to be someone important, and about 400 men joined him, but he was killed, and all those who were loyal to him were disbanded and came to nothing. After him came Judas, the Galilean, at the time of the census. He also drew people after him, but he too perished, and all who were loyal to him were scattered. So now I tell you, have nothing to do with these men and let them go. For if this endeavor or this activity is of human origin, it will destroy itself. But if it comes from God, you will not be able to destroy them. You may even find yourselves fighting against God. They were persuaded by him. After recalling the apostle, they had them flogged, ordered them to stop speaking in the name of Jesus, and dismissed them. So they left the presence of the Sanhedrin, rejoicing that they had been found worthy to suffer dishonor for the sake of the name. All day long, both at the temple and in their homes, they did not stop teaching and proclaiming the Christ Jesus. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The responsorial psalm, One thing I seek, to dwell in the house of the Lord. 
one thing I seek, to dwell in the house of the Lord. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom should I fear? The Lord is my life refuge. Of whom should I be afraid? One thing I seek, to dwell in the house of the Lord. One thing I ask of the Lord, this I seek, to dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life, that I may gaze on the loveliness of the Lord and contemplate his temple. One thing I seek, to dwell in the house of the Lord. I believe that I shall see the bounty of the Lord in the land of the living. Wait for the Lord with courage. Be stout-hearted and wait for the Lord. One thing I seek, to dwell in the house of the Lord. Alleluia, Alleluia. One does not live on bread alone, but on every word that comes forth from the mouth of God. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Saint John. Jesus went across the Sea of Galilee. A large crowd followed him because they saw the signs he was performing on the sick. Jesus went up on the mountain and there he sat down with his disciples. The Jewish feast of Passover was near. When Jesus raised his eyes and saw that a large crowd was coming to him. He said to Philip, Where can we buy enough food for them to eat? He said this to test him, because he himself knew what he was going to do. Philip answered him, Two hundred days' wages worth of food would not be enough for each of them to have a little. One of his disciples, Andrew, the brother of Simon Peter, said to him, There is a boy here who has five barley loaves and two fish, but what good are these for so many? Jesus said, How the people recline! Now there was a great deal of grass in that place, so the men reclined, about five thousand in number. Then Jesus took the laws, gave thanks, and distributed them to those who were reclining, and also as much of the fish as they wanted. When they had had their fill, he said to his disciples, Gather the fragments left over, so that nothing will be wasted. So they collected them and filled tall wicker baskets with fragments from the five barley loaves that had been more than they could eat. When the people saw the sign he had done, they said, This is truly the prophet, the one who is to come into the world. Since Jesus knew that they were going to come and carry him off to make him king, he withdrew again to the mountain alone the gospel of the lord dear brothers and sisters in jesus christ today jesus tells one thing through the scripture readings that god is in charge of everything this theme is to be meditated every day and we need to surrender ourselves as we are without complaining our limitations and problems in life. In the first reading, 
underscoring this theme we see gamaliel a jewish teacher saying that whatever of divine origin cannot be put down by any human being judas and his followers try to do something against the romans but they didn't succeed because it was not a divine inspired initiative divine initiatives or initiatives or enterprises of godly origin alone will succeed and nobody can put any delay for that even delay will give boost and energy to come up with the flying colors once two men were traveling on a train one of them was reading holy bible young man asked the old guy what he was doing old guy replied i am reading gospel where jesus jesus as multiplication of loaves is depicted and they departed the young man before uh, parting just commanded how stupid you, you, you are in believing all these things is this something truly happened i won't believe because i am a scientist with us parting not they depa- departed but my dear friends to his astonishment this young scientist who did not believe when just god entered into a seminar that day found that old guy appearing there as the chief speaker of the day he was also a scientist he is none other than louis pasteur so my dear friends all the intellectual genius will never say that multiplication of laws or stories of the gospel are just stupidity people with faith alone can grasp inner meanings of the gospel episodes that we listen every day today jesus tells count not our impossibilities but always surrender disciples were always good in counting the impossibilities when jesus was trying to feed the people they found the problems we are called not to find problems we are called to be solutions we need to be people of solutions we need to cooperate with the will of god by placing ourselves sometimes we say let everything be okay then i will when i have enough when everything is okay in my life when i am free from all the problems of my life then i will do according to the expectation of god jesus tells come surrender with all your problems limitations surrender your littleness i will multiply it my dear friends let us be people of productivity by placing our littleness our wounded heart at the altar and lead a meaningful catholic life we are called to feed the people feed the sheep spiritually and physically spiritually we need to pray for the humanity physically we need to do something for the society at large so let us try to surrender ourselves without complaining when saint faustina was asked to be the ambassador of divine mercy she found so many problems she did not want to do as god wanted her to do when she was asked to paint divine mercy image 
as he had been criticized by the fellow nuns of the convent as she had no money as she had no ability to pay into the picture she just told god just leave her from that task but god did not do that my dear friends we need to count our blessings not our problems by placing our talents our littleness let us try to be a solution for all the problems that our dear ones are facing in the name of the father son and of the holy spirit turning to god almighty let us surrender ourselves with all our intentions For our leaders in the church who suffer dishonor for the sake of the gospel, that they may have the grace to rejoice as the apostles did and keep on proclaiming Jesus as the Lord. Let us pray to the Lord. <clears throat> for leaders of wealthy nations, that they may not allow the poor nations to go away hungry, but share their resources for the sake of justice and peace. Let us pray to the Lord. For vocations that generous hearts may seek only to dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of their life and to do his work in this world. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That we may offer the Lord our small gifts of loaves and fishes, trusting in his power to multiply what, he, what we give him for the sake of all who need compassion and help in their needs. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our, be our beloved departed ones, that they may soon see the bounty of the Lord in the land of the living. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the Mass intention today, Michael Figlio Sr., and a special intention for Al Davis, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Food for the poor, in Jesus Christ, you satisfy the hunger of the multitudes. By our sharing in the living bread, may we become what we receive, the body of Christ, blessed, broken, and given for the sake of the world. We ask this in the name of Jesus, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. By the mystery of this water and wine, may we come to share in the divinity of Christ, who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, 
fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become for us our spiritual drink. Wash me, Lord, from my iniquity and cleanse me from my sins. Thank you. Pray, my dear sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Sacrifice at your hands. Accept in compassion, O Lord, we pray, the offerings of your people, that under your protective care they may never lose what they have received, but attain the gifts that are eternal through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but in this time above all to love you yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. He never ceases to offer himself for us but defends us and ever pleads our cause before you. He is the sacrificial victim who dies no more, the lamb, one slain who lives forever. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people excels in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic host sing together the unending hymn of your glory, as they acclaim, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and indeed willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when the supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith we proclaim with death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, 
we may be gathered into one by the holy spirit remember lord your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with francis our pope mark spalding our bishop all the clergy and religious remember all our personal intentions and needs Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy welcome them into the light of your face have mercy on us all we pray that with the blessed virgin mary mother of god with the bl- with the blessed joseph his spouse with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your son jesus christ through him and with him and in him o god almighty father in the unity of the holy spirit all glory and honor is yours forever and ever at the savior's command and formed by divine teaching we dare to say our father who art in heaven hallowed be thy name thy kingdom come thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil deliver us lord we pray from every evil graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our savior jesus christ lord jesus christ who said to your apostles peace i leave you my peace i give you look not on our sins but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will who lives and reigns for ever and ever the peace of the lord be with you always let us offer each other the sign of peace may the mingling of the body and blood of our lord jesus christ bring it and a life to us who receive it lamb of god you take away the sins of the world be called the lamb of god be called him who takes away the sins of the world blessed are those called to the supper of the lamb lord i am not worthy that you should enter under my roof but only say the word and my soul shall be healed may the body and blood of christ keep me safe for eternal life
into my heart into my heart come into my heart lord jesus come in today come in to stay come in to my heart lord jesus in to my home in to my home come in to my home lord jesus come in today come in to stay come in to my home lord jesus in to my wounds in to my wounds come in to my wounds lord jesus come in today come in to stay come in to my wounds lord jesus let us pray keep safe o lord we pray those whom you have saved by your kindness that redeemed by the passion of your son they may rejoice in his resurrection who lives and reigns forever and ever the lord be with you may almighty god bless you father and the son and the holy spirit go in peace hallelujah hallelujah have a good day